the church. All right, he's just going over with a black stripping pad. We put down a little bit of fabuloso, fabuloso mixed with water. It doesn't take very much fabuloso, but fabuloso has a 7 pH, so it's a neutral floor cleaner. And it also doesn't, uh, it's really good because it doesn't leave any kind of stickiness or any residue behind. So if you're going to do floors, um, just for cleaning, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, uh, chemical to use, and it's, it's not very expensive. Put the camera back up there. I'm going to get this whole outer edge done so I don't have to rip up there. This doesn't take terribly long to do. So it's pretty, some pretty bad stains and stuff in the floor. If you need to put a little downward pressure down on the machine, you just raise the handle straight up in the air. Okay, I'm going to pad it slipping. So. Now, just gonna, we're going to have to mop this when he's finished because this is not the final look of the floor at all. It's going to have to be gone over. This is just breaking everything loose. Now you can work the area for a, as long as you need to, and you can always add a little bit more. Of oh, the, uh, as long as you keep it wet. Yeah, you, keep it damp. You don't want to let it dry you up. Be up for the next two or three hours if you yeah, want to. if you get it, if you let it dry up, you got to go back over it again and break it loose. Looks like it's bad maybe slipping a little bit. It's because I bumped the carpet. What we got on the bottom of our driver, we've got some green like scouring pads, the real thin ones, like 3M pads. And we just trimmed them to fit inside of that, and that, that holds onto the teeth a little bit. That way you don't have to tear your uh, stripper pads and stuff off the bottom of the driver. But it can slip a little bit if you uh, if you tilt the machine a little it bit. Tilt, it'll slip if you bump something. Yeah, if you bump something or if you like try to heal the machine without thinking about it, something like that, the pad can slip out from underneath. But as long as you take your time, it, it works pretty good. Now we're just going to mop this with a carpet bonnet. 
but uh, it may take a little while to get all this moisture up because you got the floor pretty damp. It's easy if you have a shop back with a squeegee attachment to do it that way too. Or even with our rub doctor, if we got a hose for it, we could just use the rub doctor as a shop back for that part because it'll pick up anything that's liquid, just not dry stuff. And so that would be kind of something with us. We could, if we did that, we'd have the, a tool that does carpet sand floors. We could use it both ways. But since we don't have a hose for our rub doctor, it's kind of a pointless endeavor. And rub doctors will not pick up water off floors very good. They don't they don't have a good enough squeegee effect for hard floors, just the carpet. So you go over your whole floor, then you mop it a little bit, and if you see something you need to uh, scrub a little bit more with a black pad, then just do that one little area and uh, mop it again. Because once you get all this water down and it's been smeared around, it's kind of hard to see what you're doing 100%. Now the work does a good job. You see they've got white baseboards, they've even got white caulking. So the work does a pretty good job of not really making a mess on the baseboards. It's not that you couldn't make a mess, it's just most of the time it, it works fine. Is that a little red thing going to come out? Yep. yep. I scraped on that with a, with a hand scraper and it didn't really do anything for it, so... I'm glad the pad took it right out. smart about this and I'm going to spray the floor with some more fabuloso and get it wet so it won't dry up on me while I'm mopping it out. I'll have to do more mopping but there's nothing worse than trying to mop a dry floor. You can't mop a dry floor, you want it wet. Okay, I'm going to stop the camera here just because we're going to put the 40 minutes of floor cleaning. Um, he can turn it on and do some of the mopping. Yeah, I'll show a little bit of the mopping, but it's going to take a while because he's going to have to go over it a few times. So he's spraying the floor right now, and I'll come back when he's mopping and show a little bit of that, but I'm not going to show all of it because it's going to take a while to get the floors completely cleaned up. And we're still going to have it where we have to walk on these floors when we're carpet cleaning, so it's probably we're going to have to mess with them again when we're done. So. Stay tuned just a little bit longer. I'll show a little bit of the mop and then we'll get right to the carpet cleaning with the Oric and the Rug Doctor. So stay tuned. <laughs> 